Hey, what's up guys? Phoenix here. This video is going to be another Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro Duel video, and this time I'm playing with the Dinosaur True King deck. Now, it is less than a month away from the time frame when we will be getting the Dinosaur Structure deck, as well as the Ancient Gear Structure deck, both of them being released to us on April 14th, which is a less than a month away. Today being March 15th, which coincidentally happens to be my 25th birthday. Uh, a little fun fact if you did not know, today is actually my birthday, and like I just said, I'm turning 25 years old, and it's... It's kind of a weird feeling, thinking that, like, literally, as far as numbers go, I'm over a quarter of my way through my lifespan, um, and it's making me feel kind of weird. But anyway, I'm playing against my opponent, who is uh, Earthworm from my Discord server, and he is playing with an Invoked Blue Eyes deck. Uh, and he won Rock, Paper, Scissors, and he chose to go first, which I thought was a bit strange, because normally when I play with the Invoked Blue Eyes list, I choose to go second. Winding second is something that I feel like is generally doable and almost... Typically, like, just as correct as going first with Blue Eyes, but it turns out that his list has some very, like, techie cards in it in the form of Brilliant Fusion and in the form of doing the Dark Matter play into a Goliath. So, what he has just done is he has summoned Dark Matter and he's making me banish cards, and so I'm choosing which cards to banish. I don't want the Rabbit, and I'm just getting rid of two of my floaters. The dinosaur cards are, in theory, really good and really cool because your two tiny dinosaurs, the, P the Petri Dragon, or the Petri Dragon, whatever it's called, uh, and the baby Sarasaurus are both plush fires in essence of how they operate and the true king cards as well as soul devouring oviraptor uh, just deal with like getting you multiple pluses off of those cards uh, but so as you can see he's ended his first turn board with a macaba and a goliath that are being summoned out of his uh, graveyard off arc brave dragon which he set up off the dark matter so a very very strong turn one play and it's actually just fantastic in terms of uh, in terms of I didn't think that anyone could fit that kind of stuff as far as brilliant fusions as well as the Goliath Arc Brave package into the blue eyes invoked deck um, and he's done so while keeping it relatively you know a good card count it's not like a 50 card deck or anything like that he's he's streamlined it to uh, to a certain degree but so I summon my uh, Obi Raptor and try to try to do my things I try to activate my true king from hand to uh, to pop my Micellosaurus and the uh, Pitchery Dragon uh, but he just ends up negating that with the Macaba, which is very smart. And I just, I can't do anything to it. Like, I've got an Emptiness that is literally not going to do anything to his board. And he's got a Goliath on the field, which is making it where I can't go into the extra deck. And now I literally can't do anything because I can't even, like, trigger my floaters. There's just no way for me to play this game. I got absolutely outclassed and absolutely stomped. And that, that seems to be the biggest issue that I've found in testing with this dinosaur deck is that going second with it is absolutely really hard like it doesn't really handle well under pressure of like negations and things like that now the goliath the goliath by itself was not even really that big of a factor like the goliath didn't even really do much the big deal there was the macaba negating my true king which was literally my starter card um that was the biggest deal because even without the goliath being there the rest of my hand had almost no plays going for it uh but so anyway so I get to go first, and I start with, uh, with unfortunately, a Megalos Matcher X in my hand. Um, I'm playing those because I'm playing Rabbit, and also, like, the ability to go into Bahamut Shark off of them, it just seems like, like a good option, but it might end up being cut for other more, uh, like, streamlined dinosaur options. But anyway, so I summon my Soul Devouring Over Raptor and just use it to get things going. I discard a uh, Missilosaurus, and I just decide, ultimately, that I've actually just fucked up in a royal fashion, because... I'm just 100% not able to do anything, and that's the biggest problem I'm having with this deck, is that, like, I can't do things, and that's the biggest issue. I think, like, the vanilla dinosaurs might end up having to be cut for something like the Brilliant Fusion engine, just for space reasons, because of the fact that you often need to get multiple monsters on board in multiple ways. Like, if you don't open Dragonic Diagram, which there are six of in the deck, or if you don't open any of the True Kings which there are two fire and three earth just for ratio reasons. If you don't open any of those cards to start triggering your like little dinosaurs to put additional bodies on the board, you are locked down to your one normal summon of Oviraptor or whatever monster you're summoning. And the only good card that you can summon that's a one card summon is Rescue Rabbit to go into two Megalo Smashers and make a, uh, a Lagia Dolka or Bahamut Shark into Totally Awesome. Like, it's very, very much a problem. It's something that's a massive issue and so it might just end up being something that needs to be incorporated into the deck just to give the deck better starting positions because brilliant fusion plus oviraptor yields a good play 
because you'll be able to use Oviraptor to add uh, a dinosaur and then be able to normal summon it immediately um, and do things there. So there's there's the possibility of future advancement for the deck list, but this is just a very generic list that I found online. And I wasn't too familiar with the dinosaur cards, but I have playtested it a bit and I'm aware of like the play structuring that you should be going down. But it's very much far from my list. Um, it's not a list that I've built personally. And so, without me testing the deck extensively and finding a list that I like, I feel like that there's just multiple different things that need to happen as far as how the uh, deck needs to change in order to be able to function. But so, he makes a Dark Matter and a Makaba, and it just ultimately is, it's, it's a big problem for me. I've got Rageki in my hand, and he's used the Dark Matter to set up the Goliath combo again, by the way. Um, so the Goliath is going to be coming out next turn. Not like it matters, because my hand is like not good anyway. But he's also got Return of the Dragon Lords Engrave, and that's how he made the Dark Matter. He was bringing back a Blue Eyes off of the Return of the Dragon Lords. So the Raigeki in my hand doesn't even do anything, because he doesn't even have to negate it with Makaba, because the Raigeki itself is only going to destroy the Makaba, depending on what the rest of his board is. I'm not really worried about dealing with the... Uh, the uh, Seraph Knight because the Seraph Knight doesn't really do anything on the board at this point. Um, but so I just use the uh, Twin Twister discarding the Baby Sarasaurus. These floaters are strictly like worse than Plush Fire because they have to be destroyed by card effect. So it's not even like you could set them and like, you know, keep floating into uh, into not dying off battle. Um, like that's what you saw last turn off the Peter Dragon. Like it just, it, eh, it's a problem. And you have to open well with this deck to do anything, and that's the problem I found in testing. Now, I've, I've tested a few different variants of this deck. Like I said, there's one with Brilliant Fusion. Um, there's one that runs more True King cards to try and get more starters. Uh, there's, there's a few different options for this deck, but overall, the biggest problem that I have run into is literally like what you just saw. I literally just got stomped. That was... Uh, that was me not being able to do anything for two games because this deck bricks or when it's key combo piece your key starter card like the fire true king in the last video gets negated it's just a big overall just issue that you have to be able to deal with in some way but I don't know I don't know how that's actually going to change how the deck functions going forward um, in terms of how it's built I don't know if the deck will be able to be, able to be like competitive oriented because I think like pure true kings will probably just end up being better uh, this very much seems like one of those uh, like Metal Foes, Yang Zing type decks where it's like you have to get started or else it just loses. Um, whereas like pure Metal Foes just ended up being better in the long run. Uh, this might just be another one of those kind of interactions where pure True Kings is probably just better than the Dinosaur True King deck because it's just trying to do too much. Even though the quality of all these cards is incredibly high. Uh, like I really like all these new Dinosaur cards. They all work really well in conjunction with each other and they've got amazing synergy. The problem is, is that you just have to get to a starter card and so whether it's whether or not it's more true kings whether or not it's brilliant fusion to fix that problem uh, is something that I'm just not really sure of at the moment but anyway let me know what you guys think in the comments down below this is not going to be the only uh, dual video that goes up today by the way uh, because I just got stomped in this match I'm going to be putting up another dual video today as well uh, just for the sake of just having another one going up so I'm gonna go and film that now and have that uh, get ready to be uploaded as well but anyway let me know what your thoughts are uh, in the comments down below as as usual anyway as always guys thanks for watching again let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below any questions comments concerns all that nonsense and let me know what you think about the build if you know of any like better builds than what you see on screen at this point then definitely email them to me my email uh, for sending deck lists to me is in the description of this video but definitely be sure to like and subscribe for more content and check out the links in the description to my Facebook and patreon pages if you want to help support me directly then patreon is the way to go as well as it gets you into a monthly raffle giveaway for a high dollar card or a sealed product whatever the flavor of the month is essentially as well as possible access to my personal discord server to chat with me and play games with me for videos just like earthworm from this video was doing but if you're looking to buy or sell cards while also indirectly supporting the channel then be sure to check out second chance gaming's website which is also linked in the description they are a direct sponsor of me and this channel and i'm a big fan of how they do business their pricing and shipping are both really good from what i've experienced if you're looking to acquire cards i played in this video or my opponent played then definitely check out their site and let them know that Phoenix sent you. But other than that, that's it for this video. Again, let me know what your thoughts are for like the upteenth time. I can't stress that enough. And if you have any deck list for this deck that you'd like, or even a dinosaur deck list in general that you'd like to send me to play for possible like play on this channel, then send it to the uh, email that's in my uh, description, like I've already said. But other than that, thanks for watching. Thanks for your time. And as usual, guys, take care. I'll see you in the next video.